I got to an idea where I wanted to do my own thing, mm -hmm. you know, in LA. And um, I think the biggest job for me there was I decided to put on my own show in a circus tent, like a full on art show inside of a oh. circus tent in the middle of Hollywood. Like it was never done. And um, I remember at the time, by this time, I was going broke. Like I was just splurging. Like I was having. Life a, is good. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I was that. Uh, I don't really want to call that an, an expense. That was more like an investment to just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was definitely because it it, it 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 paved the way for where I'm at now. And um, mm -hmm. I was I was uh I was with this girl at the time. She was like holding me down like with mm. the show and stuff. Yeah. And, and we did the show and we had to get permits. It's my first time ever trying to get permits and licensing. Yeah. And it was in a space. It was Hollywood and Coenga, which is like, but and I, I'm saying this on the record, like because of this circus tent it opened up the permit for Hollywood to do a farmer's market there. Mm. And wow. That's real. after that, I was I was kind of mad about it because I was the first one through yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah. You know what wow. I mean? And, and, yeah. and like, you could have kept it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like now they got like flea markets there. They make, you know, they, they clear about a good 10 grand a week. Wow, you know what right, I mean? Like, right. but yeah. every day when we was, you know, living there, we would walk past and see like, yo, we like, I did this. Like I, I. How does that fit? Like you're the exactly. first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, like, to, like, bro, to like pioneer some shit. Like yeah, that. bro. Like when I seen it, and I think the first day when I seen the tent get erected, I was like, "Oh, what's happening? Mm. Like it's really happening." You know what I mean? Mm. And, and it was like the aesthetic was it, artwork. It was supposed to look like a gallery on the inside, but a circus tent on the outside. So you you pay for the show like with physical like circus tickets. It was supposed to be mm. a theme around it, but after that show. During that show, I was sculpting a lot. I was doing a lot of like carnivalistic, whimsical artwork. And I was like, yo, I got to get a job when this is over. And right after that job, um, I got hired through Disney. And that's Jeez. what kind of like facilitated like me understanding like Wait, 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 wait. Right, right, right. Great over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It was, it was like they started, they seen like, you did this by yourself? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And right. I came in with that knowledge of working with, you know, high end mm -hmm. art world and art basil people or whatever. And it was like, okay, if you could do that, we know you could do Nintendo or whatever. Yeah. I, I, and I started working for Disney Japan. So mm, it nice. was like, I did, I did a lot of, uh, the Mario world sculpting wow. for, for Disney. Yeah. So it was dope. I didn't, I didn't you know, even know they was together in, right, in, in, right. in Japan. Yeah, they, yeah, Nintendo they got, usually be on some... Keeping it close. Keeping yeah, it close yeah, 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 on, some, yeah. uh, on some Apple type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's everything. That's yeah, that's so, dope. Yeah, so, you know, I was doing a lot of that, like, you know, sculptures the size, like, 30, 40 feet tall. You know what I mean? So, damn. Yeah, bro. So and where you get material from? Like, how does that work? I mean, for, for places like Disney, they just they just grabbing up, like, expensive clay and foam. Like, the oh, cheapest thing was foam. Right, like, right. foam blocks, whatever. But for me, I was on, like, for private jobs, it was like I had to get, like, this thing called epoxy. Okay. Poxy clay is expensive. It's like a drum could run you like a thousand dollars. You know what right. I mean? You could you could sculpt like a full size body. You know mm. what I mean? Oh, out of a drum. Yeah, okay. you know what I mean. Mm. So if you if you hollowing something out, you might get like the size of like a small Mini Cooper. You know mm. what I mean? Like if that if that makes sense. Mm. But, right, right. But yeah, so you know, working with them, and I got into those spaces, bro, and that's when I started seeing the insecurities more. 